What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I've got a very special episode for you because we get to actually break out the Hamilton Beach today and talk about, uh, I don't know, flash blending or like blending with this and how it differs from blending with a blender. Also, I, um, as you can see, I've got this nice Smuggler's Cove Tiki mug. While we were up in San Francisco, we got to go to Smuggler's Cove, the Mecca, Martin Kate's Mecca of Tiki, and I am going to make you the drink, which is called The Expedition, which is a Don the Beachcomber inspired drink created by Martin Kate himself, uh, and it is the drink that uh, goes in this mug, and it is the one that you see on the cover of the Smuggler's Cove book, which you guys should all get. I am in the middle of reading it now, and it is brilliant. It has a link below, so definitely click the link and buy it if you haven't. Um, I really love what Martin Kate's doing because what he's doing is updating Tiki and really turn and then like basically he's kind of continuing the work of Jeff Berry who's also still doing that same work at Latitude 29 in, in New Orleans. Um, but you know they're really updating and showing the art behind Tiki and the drinks that are coming out of this movement are just incredible. And I've been having a lot of fun kind of recreating a lot of these drinks. Um, so I just thought we would do that today. So today we're going to be using the Hamilton Beach. Uh, and we are going to be uh, doing what is called a, I mean, what people call flash blending, which is actually just like going in one of these guys. See, as you can tell, uh, this thing has an uh, what, are, what are agitator blades at the end of a spindle. And what it is meant to do is to basically mix a drink, which is not going to necessarily crush the ice it's going to aerate and dilute, and it's gonna give this brilliant kind of foamy texture. It is very similar to whip shaking something where you're aerating inside the tin, but this thing has a motor that goes very fast, and it's a lot uh, more efficient than my arm could ever be. So you get this really nice texture. The thing is, is that a lot of people have tried to call me out on this uh, channel saying like, oh, no, 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 you're supposed to be using a Hamilton Beach and be a drink mixer for that cocktail. But there's two very different things that you get from either a Hamilton Beach or a, uh, like a Vitamix or like a, any, like a blender. So a blender, it blends from the bottom up. And so basically what you do is it has blades and it's gonna crush down that ice. So you can get like a slushy consistency with that particular thing. This thing will not give you that consistency. This will give you more of a pebble ice consistency or a crushed ice consistency. And usually when you do this, after you pour your drink into your tiki mug, you're actually gonna amend it with some crushed ice or pebble ice. You're gonna amend it with a little bit more on top uh, because you're not gonna get that like uh, slushy, soupy kind of consistency. All right, let's get into making the drink. Enough jibba jabba. So first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of honey syrup. I probably should have started with the lime juice, which is one ounce of lime juice but I didn't. Then I didn't bother putting my cinnamon syrup in a, in a bottle. I just have it here in the, in the old jar. We're gonna do half, half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. I don't know why I stuttered on that word. I was like, <laughs> half an ounce. Don't know why I did that. And then we're going to do a quarter ounce of, of vanilla syrup. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Now, all if I'm going to be completely honest, um, Smuggler's Cove uses the Bitterman's uh, New Orleans uh, coffee liqueur, but I like my Mr. Black. This is what I got on hand. This is what we're using, and it's going to be delicious. It's a quarter ounce of the Mr. Black, and then we're just going to be using some black blended Jamaican rum, two ounces. And then we're going to be using an ounce of bourbon. I like to use my Evan Williams bonded bourbon. Uh, lately, old granddad bonded has really been vying for supremacy uh, in my uh, affections for uh, my uh, workhorse bottle. But uh, Evan Williams is what we got on hand today, so that's what we're using. Uh, and that was one ounce of bourbon, if I didn't say it already. And we're going to add a nice, healthy six to eight ounces of pebble ice, and we're going to stick it into our, properly into our Hamilton Beach, and we're gonna blend it. We're gonna blend it on high for about 10 seconds. The weird thing about this Hamilton Beach is that it's working perfectly, but at the same time, the motor runs really hot and it kind of smells funky. It kind of has like this like, like a burndy smell to it. It's really, it's very irritating. 
Huh? This one because it's new. Okay. And there we have our cocktails. See? And you see, it's like nice and frothy, very nicely aerated. And we're just gonna pour this into our tiki mug. This is a huge amount of, of, that is a huge amount of cocktail, by the way. Just, I mean, this is probably a 16, maybe 18 ounce, 18 ounce tiki mug, and it's like, we're just gonna add a little Scotia crushed ice on top. We're going to add, oh, I got one because we went to Smuggler's Cove. I got one of these awesome Smuggler's Cove um, things that they put in their drink. And then we got a jumbo straw from Surfside Sips, which is gonna need it because it's the only one that is, that is the only one that is long enough to fit in this. And then we're gonna add a nice, it's been kind of a long shoot day today and my, my mint is getting wilty even though I have it in water. So we're gonna put our mint garnish because that's what we need to do, but it's, it's a really wilty mint and it should be being kept alive. I got it in water, but you know, it just doesn't wanna. You have a nice big bunch of mint, give it a little pressy poo, little crushy pants. Put that nice big bundle of mint back there. Now it calls for a dehydrated uh, lime wheel. I'm doing a fresh lime wheel because I didn't dehydrate my, lime, my citrus. It just didn't have the time. And then we're just gonna add like a couple of orchids here. And there you have it, my friends. The Expedition by Martin Kate of Smuggler's Cove. Let's give it a sip. That is boozy, but that is good. Oh my God, I gotta tell you that, you know, I was like, I was like, how are we gonna taste all of these syrups? We've got honey, we've got cinnamon, we've got vanilla. How are we gonna taste the nuances of this syrup? But I gotta tell you, the coffee from the Mr. Black comes through this like vibrant kind of syrups flavor. And those syrups really play with the Jamaican rum really well. So you have this nice, beautiful just like sweetness right on the front of your mouth and it kind of devolves to the sort of the booziness. I gotta tell you guys, you gotta be careful with this drink. It is incredibly boozy. This is a boozy cocktail. This is a big, big boy drink, all right? This this will, will knock you on your ass. Um, but it is a very good one and a lot of the problem with them tiki drinks is that they are so good, they taste so wonderful that you just wanna suck them down and you just, and then you stand up and you can't, and you, and you fight, find out you can't walk. It has happened to me a couple of times. One of the times when I went and saw my friend Jim at Lono in Hollywood and I literally had two drinks and I was like so hammered, I was kind of surprised I got in the lift and was able to get home. Um, so there you have it, my friends. Martin Kate's Expedition, definitely worth going to Smuggler's Cove and having this one and also making it home and also going and getting this lovely, I mean, just let's just talk about this mug for a second. It is just a beautiful mug. I, it comes in three different colors. I decided to get the brown one because that's what I, I just like, I looked at them all and I was like, the one on the cover of the Smuggler's Cove book is like this uh, kind of uh, like a cream colored one that has some brown highlights. I really like this brown one though. It's really nice. And it's just like, you touch it and it's just like such nice quality, such beautiful carving. All right, guys, there you have it. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and you can check us out on Patreon. We've got a lot of good, awesome content going on there. Uh, some exclusive videos just for patrons, Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. It is absolutely worth it to check it out. Uh, we are really expanding it. We've kind of rejiggered our tiers. Uh, so you should ch definitely check it out and it goes a long way to helping us create all this content. Uh, I hope you guys are liking the new schedule. We're doing three days a week as opposed to five just to help us uh, kind of keep ahead of the schedule. We got a bit of traveling going on. We've got some new content coming up. We just spent the day um, uh, a little while ago uh, at a nice company um, and that was really brilliant. And Marius is looking at me like, this will probably be released before, like the ice company one will probably be released before that. So maybe you should have said that, but guess what? I will take a page of Marius's book and say, you know, not that many people even watch this long. And so, if it's yeah. been released, the link is above. If there's no link above, it hasn't, it hasn't been, released. been released yet. And, it, it's, and it's coming up. So either way, you'll be happy. In 2020, 2021, 2022, it's probably been released. So then go check the link anyway. No, uh, check our channel. I don't know.
Oh, so it's okay for you to mess up, but it's not okay for me to mess up. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how the cookie crumbles here on The Educated Barfly. We will see you guys next time.